YouTube, what is up guys? Today I have the number one rated SLA 3D printer under $300 off Amazon.com. This is the longer Orange 30. The print quality is absolutely insane. This is by far the best SLA printer I've ever checked out on my channel. And it's actually the cheapest too. So let's do an unboxing, a full review, and see what this thing can really do. All right guys, so we got the box right here and it also came with two containers of resin. Now most SLA DLP printers, usually you got to buy, they usually don't come with any resin. So really cool right off the bat. And uh, this is the number one rated uh, resin style or SLA style 3D printer on amazon.com as far as a full size and that's full resolution. So it has like, a, like I don't know if you can see that. It has 50, 56, reviews at only like a four and a half star rating so that's pretty good uh and it's only 2.99 it's on sale right now for 2.85 with a coupon code so i don't know if by the time you watch this what the price will be but 2.99 is the stock price for this machine so let's open it up let's see what it we got here but yeah the i've checked out I had three or four other printers, and the other ones were both over $500, so for this technology, this is actually a very, very affordable price. So first thing is we got a little instruction booklet, which we'll go through in a minute, and there's QR codes on the back uh, for everything you need. Here's like a thank you letter with all the support emails, all their social media contacts, all that stuff. Okay, we got like some type of filter, so I'm gonna set that right there. We got more foam on the top, so packaged very nice, all laser cut foam. This is okay. All right, take we take everything out of the box first, and then we'll see what we got. So it looks like there will be minor assembly required. It's like basically just for the acrylic frame. Okay, there's more QR codes. Here's the basic, basically the body. Uh, there's a QR code on the top. So we will uh, figure all that out. First we're just gonna unbox everything, then we can we'll worry about putting it together. This is already, I can tell you, has the biggest screen. As far as the build plate screen, the the LCD, out of any of the other resin printers I've used. And I like how the vat is all metal. So a lot of printers, all the other ones I have, have they all basically are plastic vats. This one, uh, cheaper printer, and it looks like, so far, pretty pretty darn good quality build. Uh, looks well built. We got just, you know, all the inputs in the back and stuff. We'll check that out. So we got some gloves, some masks, uh, some tools. In this little baggie so when you do use resin printers you want to wear a mask and you want you have to wear gloves because it is toxic to your skin and you don't want to, like I'm not gonna have this set up here on the kitchen table I'm gonna have this in my workshop where it's well ventilated uh, away from my normal like it's not like right now I'm right by my kitchen you don't want to be putting somewhere like there we got our regular power supply super standard uh, so it looks like the corner panels to put the sides together with the acrylic. Okay, so packaged very, very nice. I don't see anybody having any problem uh, unless, you know, you got a FedEx or Amazon guy that's just crazy mad that day. Uh, but it looks very easy to put together. Um, we all time lapse the build, but I don't see this taking me more than 15, 20 minutes. So uh, I'll set the camera to time lapse and let's build the thing. Okay, before we do the time lapse, I missed a couple parts actually. So here's the other part of the power cord, a little scraper, and then the top of the resin vat is in here too, encased. I gotta like pull this apart to get to it. It's encased here really good for extra protection, I guess. There probably was an easier way to get that out, but it was stuck in the middle of there, so I didn't see it. All right, so we got all the parts now. Now let's put it together.
All right, guys, so we got it all set up. It actually took me about an hour. It took me a half hour just to take all the stupid, like, stickers off all the acrylic. Uh, very easy to put together. The, the screen is awesome. So the, there's actually quite a few models on here. Uh, and it, the cool thing is, like, you can click on them to get an idea, like, of what they'll look like before you do it. Uh, that's the back of the dude's head. I don't know how to spin them around to see the other side. But there's, like, the Star Wars skull. We'll probably do that one, too. First, we're going to do this uh, Vampire Lord. Obviously, you can load your own files into here, but I think it's cool to, you know, do some of the test prints that they come on here. Uh, very easy installation and everything. And uh, make sure that there is no model below. Yeah, 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 yeah. Build plate, yeah. Yep, okay. Well, let's uh, get started then. Here goes the first print. So I've had this for about three days now, and I've run all the test prints that come stock on the card. So there's some things I really like about this printer. The one thing is I really like the way the touch screen is. It's super easy to navigate, but also, too, it shows you a preview of what your model's going to look like, whether it's one you sliced yourself or one that came stock on there. So here, let me show you that for an example. Like I, The first one I've sliced myself is the one that's still printed in there. It's not cured yet, uh, but here, let me zoom in here. So you can see, but you see it shows a little Eiffel Tower. It says how long it's going to take and everything. And so far, it's been extremely accurate. Um, but yeah, like whatever you click on, you know, it'll give you a little picture of it and everything. So it's really cool. And just very easy to navigate. Very simple functions. Um, it was easy to level it and all that good stuff. This Eiffel Tower is the first thing that I've printed that I sliced myself, like I said. Um, these parts are all cured. You can either just do that in the sun, or actually, if you take the resin vent out, there's a mode on here where you can turn the LCD light um, into a UV light to cure your prints, which is pretty neat. Uh, I've never seen anything like that. Um, but just the overall quality you get on these prints is insane. Once I'll prime them in a minute, and you can see them, or once I paint them, they'll really show the detail. But one way I can show you some detail on here is if I put it on a light like that. Let's see if I can zoom in there. Yeah, look at the, the immense detail on here. And once you paint it, you hit it with a little primer or a rattle can of paint, it'll definitely pop a lot more. This one's going to be a little harder to see because this one was printed solid. But, I mean, the detail is still absolutely phenomenal. This is like the hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil came on the thing. And then we got this demon guy. Also, very very cool so i'll prime those in a minute so you guys can see what they look like um, but first here let me just show you the software it's actually really easy oh and also too you need to rinse the prints off in rubbing alcohol i can't get rubbing alcohol right now so i just use the cheapest vodka at the store worked great so good alternative all right so here we got i'm just gonna show you guys firsthand like this uh hopefully you can see the computer screen good enough but basically, this is the program for the longer Orange 30. And depending on which model you have of any, any of the longer models, it'll put it on here. Now, if your model is fairly simple and you don't need to hollow it out or anything, because you want to print hollow, because when you print something like this, it wastes a lot of resin. And this resin's not that cheap. But this is totally hollow. There's holes in the bottom. And, uh, you know, you don't wait. it uses almost no resin. So you can always hollow out your models if they're more advanced and intricate using their program chitu box that comes on here which is kind of like it's a very common program or you could do it in mesh mixer is how i prefer to do it but you can do whichever way you prefer so say we're just going to make a nice easy model here um we'll do the eiffel tower ones i already did this so just uh for example so if you're just using this program it's so easy you just uh, you can scale it if you want or whatever right here down at the bottom um let me zoom out a little more um, like right here in this section, you can scale it and stuff. Um, or you can just go down the line here, and uh, basically when you get to here, it'll tell you to slice it. So you hit click down here. All you do is you pick your resolution. I'm just the standard resolution uh, is what I printed that in, and it, it turned out amazing. So you just hit slice, and then 
you can even get it like uh, if you move this, you can get a layer view of how it how it does it. You know, it looks obviously weird the way the lights. It's hard to hard to figure out what you know what the hell's going on. But um, then you just hit save job here at the bottom, and when you save it on your SD card, you just or the you save it just under the same file directory as all the sample files are on, and then you'll have your you know everything on there. If you have to do something a little more complicated. Like you need, you know, this, you basically, you can scale it, you know, stuff like that, rotate it. Um, but it is a very simple program. The one thing is it, it's extremely easy to use. But if you have to like hollow out your model, like say I was going to print this uh, Super Mario thing here, that would waste a lot of resin. So I'd bring it into either the chip box which comes, there's the software that comes on here, or this mesh mixer is totally free. You can download it anywhere. This is what I prefer. Um, but you can just click right here where it says hollow, and it will hollow out your model for you. And then... Uh, you know, you'll be able to print them hollow. So, yeah, there is other software that it comes with that you could do it, but uh, it's just like anything with 3D printing. You say you like one, you know, you like Cura better than Simplified 3D or whatever. You, it's really up to you. you use whatever. So you see now our model is hollow. So now when we save that STL, it'll be hollow, and we can um, we can add resin holes too in the bottom. You see right here it says generate holes. So uh, it is really easy program. Same type of thing you can do in Chitu Box also but yeah so then when we go into our longer 3d we would just save that SDL and then open it uh, in there so that's pretty much the software is really really user-friendly and there's directions everything all the software will be on this little this little thumb drive that comes with the printer uh, so you'll have all everything ready to go right out of the box and uh, so far this thing has been awesome so let's prime these up and uh, let me cure my Eiffel Tower. And, uh, you yeah, know, overall, though, I'm extremely impressed with this thing. All right, let's hit him with a little base color. And uh, hopefully it should make the details pop a little bit. So I hit him with a, it's a light coat at first. We'll let that dry, but you can already see, in the especially in the hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil, how much the details already popped just from that little bit of paint on there. Also, this guy, yeah, they all look really good. So I'll give that five minutes to dry. I'll hit it with one more light coat, and I will take a closer look. Alright guys, so after having this printer a couple days, I must say it is hands down, without a doubt, the best SLA printer I have ever checked out. Uh, I have previously done the FL Sun, the FL Sun, uh, I can't remember what it's called, but it, it's like a $600 printer. And then I have also done the Flying Bear, which is like a $550 printer. And both of them broke within like six weeks. Like um, a couple weeks after making the videos, they broke. And both of them have horrible customer service and as far as I know neither company is really making DLP or SLA 3D printers anymore. Um, both of them uh, had several problems but the main one is the LCD screen. Now this machine is half of the price of that one and it uses a way higher quality screen. So not only the build quality but the resolution. It's a 2K resolution which is higher than like you know you're watching this YouTube video in 1080p. So basically double standard high def resolution and you can really print incredible stuff but the main thing is the orange 10 is it's a smaller version of the exact same machine basically and it's about a hundred dollars less made by the same company i'll put a link down below if this one's a little out of your price range maybe check that one out 
But that printer, there's been people on YouTube and my fellow fellow people I know in the 3D printing community that have had them for over a year and have no problems whatsoever. The company is going strong. They have great customer service. And um, I haven't, you know, I've only had this a couple days, but as smoothly as everything's gone, I don't see this breaking anytime soon. And if anything does break, it comes with like all the warranty information. It comes with all the customer service information and they have a Facebook group and going off other people's posts on the Facebook group, this is a very well-respected machine um, as far as the people that own it and the people that are looking into, you know, there's a lot of people on there that are like asking questions because they're going to buy one of these. There's a lot of people though that just show all the amazing stuff they print with this. And yeah, if I had to give it one negative anything, I don't like how it's held together here with rubber bands, but I mean, it works absolutely like perfect. Like it's totally, totally solid. It doesn't feel flimsy or anything. Uh, I don't know. I just personally thought it was kind of weird, but uh, it is also only $300. It's like half the price of most uh, SLA 3D printers like this. And it's also like double the resolution and it is just super user friendly. Uh, the software that they have integrated, they did an amazing job. It is so easy to use. And if you want to do something a little more complicated, it also came with a configured version of Chitubox. Full tutorials on little, um, I don't know where I put it, the little thumb drive. It's got video tutorials on everything from the assembly, slicing, how to use both, both different software programs, everything. Um, without a doubt, this is worth every penny. Uh, maybe it's a good sign. Uh, forever, DLP SLA printers were just like too expensive for, for most people. And now they're really affordable. $300 and be to be able to print this good quality at home. Like this literally looks like professional. It looks like it was injection molded in a professional factory. I mean, it is absolutely outrageous. So yeah, huge fan, big thumbs up. Get it on Amazon. I'll put a link down below. I'll also put a link for their cheaper model. I was using the standard resin it came with. I haven't tried it with any other resins. But it's working phenomenal with that resin, so I would just, you know, the resin's very affordable too, so I would just stick with the stick with that resin, but I'm, I'm assuming it could do anything. And if you want to do, you don't want to paint your models, you can get opaque colors. You don't have to get transparent colors of your resin. Just get some opaque colors. Um, and if you're really into painting and you want, to, you want to make any figurines, you know, after you prime it and everything, get out your paintbrush and just have some fun. So, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to keep playing with this. I'm going to put it in my uh, other room now that I'm not filming a video. Because uh, I don't want to have it right here in my living room every day. So, I'll see you guys later and peace out.